Good afternoon, my chemistry minions. Mr. Milks here with another installment of Unit 1 Lecture Notes. If you are watching this video, you are on page 22 and 23 in your packet, and we are going to delve into how we classify matter and check out the different changes that it can go through. So first, our physical properties of matter. These are the constants about a substance like that we can observe with our senses. Okay, color, texture, and also something like melting point, very critical. Chemical properties are different. That's more how they react with each other. So I'm looking for a specific verb, something like reacting hydrogen with oxygen gas results in a combustion reaction, something that's very reactive in the presence of nonmetals or pH. Okay, so that we're looking for that reaction that's going to change that way. Okay, that's a chemical property. Now, to further go into properties, an extensive property is a property that demands or depends on how much material you're dealing with. Example, energy, mass, and heat. It's a very uh, easy, easily confused topic, okay? Intensive properties are something that is independent of or non-dependent of how much I have, okay? So this is something more like density, Okay, whoopsies. Milksy. Melting point, boiling point, color, density, hardness, solubility, will it dissolve? If I'm making Kool-Aid, it doesn't matter how much Kool-Aid I have, it's all the sugar is going to dissolve in the water to you know until we maybe saturate the thing. Density. The density of gold is the same whether I have a gram of gold or I have a hundred grams of gold. The melting point of gold is not going to change. It's still got to heat it up to a certain temperature before it's all going to melt. It doesn't matter if I have a gram of it or 500 grams of it. So those are intensive properties. Extensive properties, intensive properties. Let's try to keep those bad boys straight. Make sure you take proper notes here. This stuff should all be filled out. And I keep hitting the wrong button. Now let's look at the difference between physical changes and chemical changes, okay? A physical change is a change that does not alter the pro the stuff. It's the same stuff from before, when I'm done with it, making the changes I was when I started with it. So cutting paper or a phase change. Cutting paper, I, I have a piece of paper, I cut it, I still got two pieces of paper. What changed? Its size, its shape, but the substance it is is still paper, okay? Same material in a different form. Sometimes it looks different, but it can go back to the original state. Okay, no energy is produced. These are all things that are qualify this as a physical change and not a chemical change. Very good example right here, ice becoming liquid, water, but guess what? It's still water. Ice is not its own thing. Ice is solid water. Little nuances in chemistry that make you know, all these things, these nuances are just going to keep coming and coming and coming, I promise you. Chemical change. Now it's, we're going to actually change what it is. We started with one thing and we end up with another. So example, rusting. The properties are not the same as the original matter. Energy is produced. If energy is produced, think of it. If something gets hot and gives off heat, the heat leaves. It can't just go back. You can't just put the heat back into the wood after you burn it, okay? So there it's changed from wood to ash is what that big blob, black blob is supposed to be. It's literally not wood anymore. I can't, it, chemical composition has changed. So we just figured out the difference between physical and chemical changes and physical and chemical properties of different substances. If you're not firm, if you don't have a firm understanding of these concepts, that's not an option. We got to go back and rewatch the video. We got to do a Google search on physical properties, on chemical properties, on intensive and extensive properties of matter. Okay, you need to guys need to have a firm understanding of the difference between chemical and physical properties and changes. See you guys tomorrow in class.